Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies for you in love. We're, we'll look at the recent past, the current energies, um, what are the challenges, what do we need to know about the other person's energies and a possible outcome. So let's jump right in. For Taurus, for angels, guys, please provide guidance, insight. For Taurus, regarding love. What messages do you have for Taurus regarding love? For September. What does Taurus need to be aware of? Let's start by asking about the recent past. What's been going on for you in love? Spirit, what are the recent past energies? For Taurus in love. Recent past energies for Taurus. Okay, holding on or holding back. We'll have to see. I'm going to get another card here, but typically the Four of Pentacles is that you're protective over something, uh, guarding something, holding on to something that you value. And sometimes by doing that, you hold back from anything else or anything coming your way right because your your hands are tied up here you don't have free hands to grab anything new or to open up to anything new so Taurus it could be that you are this could be a, an emotional thing that you're experiencing maybe you're holding on to something from the past or holding on to an idea of what you want love to be like or your partner to be like Maybe you're just very protective over your heart right now, very protective over your space, um, your energy. And it could be because of things that have happened in the past that you feel this way. Anything else for uh, Taurus for the recent past? Spirit, what are the recent past energies here for Taurus? What do we need to know? Recent past energies. Nine of Cups. So yes, I feel like Hmm, there's, there's two ways to interpret this that I'm picking up on here. Maybe you received something, a wish granted, something you really wanted, the partner you wanted, the type of love you wanted, or something that you just brought you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Okay, whatever that was, I feel like you're holding on to it. You don't want to let that go. You don't want to let the idea of that go. Um, this could also just be that you have a wish in mind, a an idea of what would bring you a lot of satisfaction. So again, you know, take this as it resonates because this reading will not be for every Taurus watching as usual. So whatever this is, it's something very important to you. This could be values you hold. This could be, like I said, something you're manifesting, a wish that you're wanting or desiring. Um, maybe you got something that you really wanted and you know that for some of you, this could be something tangible, you know, like something like a physical gift. For others of you, this could be a person, a person walked into your life and you're like, I'm not letting them go. Or it could just be maybe self-esteem, self-worth. Maybe you're, you're valuing yourself or taking care of yourself, focusing on yourself and you're not willing to let that go either. That's something you want to hold on to. What are the current energies? Current energies, please, for current energies. Okay, so now you have a choice to make, a decision. This has been a reading that has shown up before in a way um, for the Taurus Collective on my channel. I feel like we've had this, a similar message in other recent videos that I've done for you guys. Um, there's a choice that's up to you. It's like you have the power to open a certain door in love. Maybe you're deciding between two people. Maybe you're deciding um, between the past and the future, right? Like something old or something new. <laughs> um, I feel like um, some of you have a lot going on as well with the Two of Pentacles. It could be that you're juggling a lot. What's the current energy for Taurus in love? What's the current energy for Taurus in love? Knight of Swords. So I feel like a message comes in, something comes in for you that you have to make a decision about Taurus. This is, this could be a message from anybody. Um, it could be a message from someone you're already talking to, someone from your past, someone new. 
But I feel like whatever this is with the Knight of Swords, it's like you're trying to determine what to do about that information. Like, what do, what do I make of this? What decision do I make? So, for example, if someone from the past wants to reconnect, that's a decision you have to make. If someone is making you an offer in the present, you have to decide. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups and then the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you're a bit worried or stressed about this decision. And Taurus, of course, feel free to flip these energies. This could be the other person I'm picking up on. But since this is a Taurus reading, I'm focusing on Taurus. So Queen of Cups, they tend to be um, very compassionate, empathetic, um, very kind, gentle. Um, the Queen of Cups to me is someone that's really in love and they're so in love, they're willing to give a lot of themselves to this other person. Um, they have a lot of love to give, the Queen of Cups. This could be a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But I feel like what's happening here is maybe your emotions are a little all over the place when, with this decision you have to make. Um, some of you might be worried or anxious, you know, maybe you do have feelings here and you don't want that to mess with your decision making. I mean, there's a lot of ways to interpret that, but I feel like whatever this is that's going on right now, I feel the decision is up to you. What's the challenge or the issue here for Taurus spirit? Challenges, issues for Taurus in love at this time spirit. What is Taurus dealing with? What challenges or issues are coming up here for Taurus? <laughs> the Nine of Swords again. Yeah, it's it's a it's a stressful time. Nine of Swords is sometimes they feel a bit guilty over the decisions they've made or have remorse, but more than anything, they can't sleep. They're literally awake at night because they're so stressed out and so anxious. What are the challenges issues here for Taurus in love? Challenges issues for Taurus in love. Taurus, let me know if this is resonating in the comments. Um, wow, the devil, Capricorn energy there. Yeah, there's something that's really stressing you out, always on your mind. Maybe you feel a bit stuck. You want to move forward, but maybe you can't. Um, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like this is just overthinking, um, being a little too anxious, too overwhelmed when I see the Nine of Swords with a card like the devil. So this is the challenge of the issue for you. Whatever decision you need to make about a person or about love, maybe this could even be career related. I feel like you are a bit scared and it could be that you're scared to lose something or it could be that you're just scared to make the wrong decision here. Bottom of the deck, we have you, the Hierophant, your energy there. So I feel like this decision is up to you. I'm also getting the Hierophant is very traditional, very conservative. I feel like you don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to screw this up. Spirit, what do we need to know about the recent or current energies for Taurus in love? What do we need to know about the recent or current energies for Taurus? Recent current energy. Fairy Godmother, a wish granted happy changes. That's reminding me of that Nine of Cups. So I feel like some of you have received something good. This could be a job offer. This could be a person that comes in that, you know, that's what you wanted. You manifested a certain partner or, or some sort of opportunity. Or this is coming your way. What else for Taurus? Recent current energies for Taurus. Magic carpet, speed, action, movement. So I feel, yeah, you're like headed somewhere new. This is reminding me of the Knight of Swords, this magic carpet energy. I feel like there's something coming in for you that forces you to make a decision and you're just not sure about it, but it's basically what you wanted. Or it's tied to something you really want. Maybe you're making a physical move, an actual move. Bottom of the deck, we have sleeping curse, inaction, silence, dormancy. So I feel like this could be coming in at a time where there was not a lot going on for you, not a lot of action or communication, or maybe uh, you've been worried that something will not move forward. Maybe it's going too slow 
or it's just not happening in the timing that you wanted it to happen, or you're worried something's gonna slow down for you, this wish granted. That's very interesting so far. Let me also get a stellar energy. Um, I've been working on a new edition of this deck. This is like the first deck that I'm using to kind of try it out. The design in the back will change. I could tell you that right now because I feel like it's too close to the Ever After design. So that's changing, but the front of the cards or the front design will probably stay the same. I haven't thought about changing it, but this isn't available now. I'll let you guys know when it is. Energies for Taurus. Can I get one more card? One more card for Taurus about the present, current, or past energies here regarding love. Cold shoulder, silence, distance, coldness. Someone is feeling shut out. Okay, so this is reminding me of that Nine of Swords. Some of you, I feel this is about a particular person. Maybe you started talking to someone and you thought it was going well and then something happened to make you kind of question things or make you worry. Maybe you thought you met the right person, but things have not turned out the way that you hoped. Maybe you met the right person or you're worried about ever meeting the right person and there's just no action, no communication, nothing really happening. There's a lot of ways to interpret that. Let me know in the comments how that resonates for you because I obviously am reading for the collective and all of your stories are different. All right, so let's look at this person. What do we need to know about this other person? This person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with in the future spirit. What do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know about them? Wow, the higher font. Your energy comes out again. Could be another Taurus. Um, I have a feeling that whoever this is, maybe they want the commitment. Maybe they want to do the right thing. Maybe they are very like traditional, conservative, as, just like you are. I hope they're not married or in a commitment. <laughs> that would complicate things. Tell me about this other individual. What do we need to know about their energies towards Taurus? I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that this is their energy towards you in the sense of like, they want to do right by you. They want to do the right thing. Okay, King of Swords. I feel like you're having a conversation with an individual that makes you worry. Yeah, the hangman at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is what's going on. This individual here, I think that they are telling you something that maybe you weren't really, you don't really want to hear or it's not what you expected. Maybe they're telling you their delays. Maybe they're telling you that they're not sure about something, about this connection, blah, blah, blah. So many different ways to say this, but yeah, I feel like, I don't know, maybe they're telling you they have feelings for you but can't make a move right now. Or maybe you're worried that they th that the, the feelings are not mutual. The Four of Swords is after that. So I feel like there's something dealing with a specific person you're dealing with a specific person where after a conversation, there's like a standstill, cold shoulder energy, dormancy, no communication, no improvement, no progression. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And I feel like you're, you're, you're starting to question what to do with the two of pentacles. All right, I'm going to get a PS I love you for this person. This is also available in my shop. What do we need to know about this individual that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with in the future? What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? I never meant to hurt you. Okay, so maybe this person said something that made you question if they were really serious about you, if they cared about you. Maybe you're feeling a bit kind of like, you know, I don't know, taken aback by someone's actions or inactions, right? Maybe they're hurting you without meaning to. Can I get one more? For this person, this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies towards Taurus? We have known each other before. So this could be that you've known each other in a past life, or you already know this person, have been dealing with this person, have already had a connection with this person. Okay, 
So let's find out where this is all headed. What's the possible outcome here, Spirit, for Taurus? What's the possible outcome here for Taurus regarding this whole situation, this individual? Taurus, if you're enjoying the reading, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Possible outcome? Okay. Wow, the lovers. Gemini energy. A partnership. Now, Gemini, I mean, not Gemini, the lovers <laughs> is also a card traditionally the traditional meaning of this tarot card is uh, a decision between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you it could also be um, a duality having a partner that's just like you or mirrors you in some way what's the uh, possible outcome here for taurus what's the possible outcome here for taurus spirit possible outcome Six of Wands. Okay, so I think whatever this is going on right now, Taurus, you're going to be okay. It's going to work out. There will be success, recognition. If it's a partnership you're worried about, I feel like in the near future, there is potential here for success, for victory, for things to work out. Two great cards to get here. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, which is probably that action that you've been waiting for that initiative from someone or for you know someone to take a risk or to take some sort of um first step towards you i feel like that's why there is potential here for success the page of wands is the is is like the page that doesn't really think too much about the details they just gonna want they just kind of want to put themselves out there and take those first steps right take the make the initiative right so I feel like whatever is happening here, there's a good chance for things to work out in your favor. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, Taurus. And hopefully I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.